hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is gonna be about what's people's last impression of you okay so pile number one you're going to be the amethyst tower pile number two the green fluorite tower and pile number three the black obsidian tower So again, pile number one, the amethyst tower. Pile number two, the green fluorite tower. And pile number three, the black obsidian tower. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pawan, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pile number one, you picked the amethyst crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one. What's people's last impression of you? What's people's last impression of you, my pal number one? We have Capricorn Achieve. So you're definitely a high achiever with the um, Capricorn energy. So you may have Capricorn in your chart or just be a Capricorn. So that's people's last impression of you. Like you're definitely somebody who is a self starter, motivated, self motivated. So you don't really need support. You have a lot of endurance. That's people's last impression of you. I heard bossy. Some people's last impression of you is that you're bossy. What's people's last? Yeah, I see. We have the chariot. You, you're determined, you're disciplined, you're structured you you don't stop until you get what you want with the chariot this is cancer energy so you may have cancer sun capricorn moon or vice versa or just have it in your chart we have the princess of pentacles this is like the page of pentacles you see how um she has a lot of pentacles and she's counting them so i'm getting like resourceful abundant with the grapes this is people's last impression of you okay like very well like i'm getting organized as well with the chariot and capricorn extremely organized um i'm getting like structured in your approach to do when you do certain things you do it in a methodical way with the chariot this is people's last impression of you what's people's last impression of you my pal number one What's people's last impression of you, pal number one? Ooh, we have justice, Libra energy. People's last impression of you is that you are somebody who is just, who is extremely balanced. You're able to um, overcome any obstacles, but you're fair in your dealing and you have a lot of integrity when you do things. You don't do anything beneath the veil. Okay. I forgot what this sign is, but I've seen it before. It's like um, Esther, I think, the goddess. 
if uh, if you guys know just put it in the comments but i think it's like esther she's like the goddess of abundance and fertility this sign if i'm if i'm wrong just correct me in the comments please um but yeah this is what i'm getting here there's a lot of abundance but there's a lot of balance to you that's people's last impression of you so what's people's last impression of you my pal number one Ooh, ten of pentacles you see abundance financial stability like you see how the man and the woman they have jewelry um they look like they're celebrating something like an accomplishment there's a lot of wine okay like they have three bottles here and then she's pouring a glass for the man and we have a lot of grapes okay there's a lot of abundance here and stability with the nuts i'm getting so this is people's last impression of you, the abundance that you bring to the table. But the fact that you are actually not fronting, it's like the real deal. You're actually somebody who is stable within yourself and you're stable within your family. Maybe you're working towards building an empire with the Ten of Pentacles. And that's people's last impression of you. What's people's last impression of you, my pal number one? What's people's last impression of you? Ooh, Ace of Swords. That you're a truth teller. That you're wise because we have the owls here. And this man looks like he's meditating. Okay, like people's last impression of you is that you're the type of person that thinks before you speak. Just like this man is meditating, it's like as if he's waiting for the answer to come to him and he's not rushing the process, but he's also grounded because the, the sword is in the ground and it's stable and you, you see the branches, you know, not the branches, but the roots going up the uh, swords and you have the two owls there. So this is like representing wisdom, knowledge, and then I'm getting like calmness because the man is calm on the card. He's not um, worried about what's going on around him. He's just going within. And that's people's last impression of you that you are somebody who is very calm or wise like you think before you speak and you speak the truth what's people's last impression what's people's last impression of you we have the three of wands yeah wishing upon a star because you see the shooting star and we have the moon and you see the woman she's laying there and she has her three wands and she's looking at the next step she's going to take with her dog so i'm getting like loyalty stability but like action oriented so she's contemplating what her next move is going to be and this is people's last impression of you like you always contemplate what your next move is going to be and you take action towards it you don't just think about it you actually make plans to make it happen yeah, you see, you work at it. Three of Pentacles. You see? And this person is like painting this woman. It's very artistic. But there's a, an air of stability. Um, persistent. This is people's last impression of you that you are extremely persistent. You don't stop until you get what you want or you accomplish what you need to accomplish. But you see, we have the chariot and we have Capricorn. So you're definitely determined. And also perfectionist because this person is like perfecting the the painting he's putting in all the little details and he's committed he's focused that's people's last impression of you that you are extremely focused Ooh, we have the lovers Gemini energy yeah you have a really good balance of feminine and masculine energy but you see how it's like a marriage of the soul like their hands are tied here and they are in wedding gowns and we have the angel in the middle okay so you make a wise decision but people's last impression of you is that you are a really balanced individual feminine and masculine energy you're not too masculine and you're not too feminine okay so what's people's last impression of you We have the six of swords like people's last impression of you is that you don't dwell on the past you're not the type of person that dwells like you always keep going you always uh, find a way to um move on from a situation you don't hold grudge with the six of swords because the source is about the mind and six of swords as you can see he's putting he's pushing um his little boat his canoe 
and then he's moving to the next phase of his life he's not like thinking about the past you see how the past like the trees behind him okay like they look gloomy the past looks gloomy but he's moving forward he's determined he's like leaving whatever is not working behind him and he's moving forward and he's not stopping until he reaches destination and this is people's uh, last impression of you you are somebody that doesn't stop when things get tough you don't stop when the going gets tough you keep on going you keep on like striving for excellence you keep on improving okay and you make the right choices you you stay still before you make a decision with the ace of swords what's people's last impression of you my pal number one what's people's last impression of you yeah ace of pentacles that grounding energy you see those beautiful flowers and all the pentacles at the bottom there's a lot of bondness and stability to you and that little fairy okay like this is people's last impression of you you always bounce back you're stable within yourself it's not just um outside yourself but you're yeah we have the moon pisces energy but with the ace of pentacles people's last impression of you is that you always get like you always create some sort of opportunity for yourself and there's an air of mystery to you like people wonder how do you stay so strong how do you stay so committed to your goals and dreams when things get tough with the moon card but there's definitely an air of um, intuition and mystery to you that's people's last impression of you but you definitely have this beautiful vibe with the ace of pentacles like a stable vibe and the moon a mysterious vibe What's people's last impression of you? Okay, just one, please. What's people's last impression? Okay, we have the moon, uh, the moon, the fool. So Aries energy. So with the fool, you see how like he's going off the cliff, but he has a, a smile on his face because he trusts in the universe. He trusts in himself. He doesn't put his trust in what he could see but definitely on in the unseen so people's last impression of you is that you are somebody who's optimistic and you walk to the beat of your own drum so people cannot deter you from your path they cannot sway you from your path this is the strong will energy that we get from capricorn and cancer so what's people's last impression of you my pal Number one, what's people's last impression of you? Yeah, we have the judgment that you're a great judge of character with a judgment card. What's people's last impression of you? What's people's, ooh, that you are generous with the six of pentacles, with your resources, with your time. I'm getting like, especially with your resources, you're extremely generous. Like people know that they can count on you or that you have their back or you would provide them with the right information. Even if you don't have the resources at the moment, but you know where to guide them, you know who to refer them to in order to get the assistance or the help that they need. And that's people's last impression of you. Like you are very resourceful and helpful. We have the King of Wands so confident that's people's last impression of you extremely confident passionate i don't know why i get detail oriented even though this is not um, mostly um fire energy this is mostly um earth energy but i'm getting that that you're very orient detail oriented focus determined to get things done with the king of wands like determination is like I feel like this is like the main lasting impression that people have of you is that you're determined like you don't stop like it's just so focused like tunnel vision you don't see anything else but your goals what's people's last impression of you yeah we have the hermit their last impression of you is that you are wise beyond your years and that you are somebody who's um an introvert 
that you rather spend time alone and it makes sense because on the ace of swords you have this man alone meditating looking for the answer from within and not without and that's the same thing with the hermit he looks for the answer from within from experiences from knowledge and, and if he doesn't have it right now he will search for it until he receives it but he's not going to look outside himself for it and this is what people's last impression of you is that you are self-sufficient that you rely on your own understanding and you're extremely observant what's people's last impression of you yeah highly intuitive with the high priestess there's a lot of intuition mystery mysticism like you know things before it even happens okay or you know things about people that they wish they could keep a secret with the high priestess but that's people's last impression of you is that you're highly intuitive like they can't put anything past you what's people's last impression last impression of you that you're cautious with the page of pentacles like you're friendly but cautious like you just don't open up to people easily we have the page of pentacles twice there's definitely a cautious energy about you what's people's last impression of you we have the empress that you're beautiful inside and out that you are extremely creative that you are abundant that's people's last impression of you and definitely with the ten of pentacles being here definitely this is like um a lot of stability and the ace of pentacles so you could have taurus or libra we have libra twice wow nine of pentacles guys this is people's last impression of you that you live a life of luxury that you're stylish but you see abundance again the grapes like abundance um stability structure determination these are the, like the adjective that they give like you know that they want to qualify you as the characteristic that they they want to distinguish you by but definitely nine of pentacles it's like living a life of luxury this is a virgo energy a lot of abundance but a lot of like um cautious energy as well but the their last impression of you is that you're self-sufficient with the nine of pentacles you don't really need people but you see another card of being cautious the knight of pentacles okay a lot of pentacles here a lot of grounding energy okay so that's all i have for you my pile number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pile number one bye hi bell two welcome to my channel this is Tella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pile number two you picked a green fluoride crystal and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is i like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings okay so my pile number two what's people's last impression of you What's people's last impression of you, my pal number two? What do we have? Sagittarius, expand. People's last impression of you is that you are adventurous, you're optimistic. And you see, I'm getting like lucky because Jupiter, um, Jupiter. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion. So definitely, this is one thing I'm getting here. That people's last impression of you is that you are extremely lucky or you happen to find yourself at the right place at the right time every single time. So what's people's last impression of you? What's people's last 
impression okay i shuffled the deck this card came out with another card and i put it back and it came out again so princess of pentacles this is like the page of pentacles so this is like um stability okay the people's last impression of you is that you are stable that you're reliable but you're also cautious because you see how this woman is like this well this princess is um taking notes she's carefully um counting her coins okay and she has a stack here so she's cautious about her next move what she's going to do with her money she is um organized as well okay um she probably knows how to budget so people's last impression of you is that you're frugal you may like to splurge on expensive things but you're not the type of person that's going to just spend your money um on one shot so let's say you get paid you know how to manage like uh your money very well you know how to budget but when you do shop for something you shop like you have expensive taste you shop for the best but you save for it at the same time okay you're not um or you don't squander your money or you're not impulsive shopper or buyer okay so what's people's last impression of you who king of pentacles didn't i say grounded energy wealth you see how he has a chest here you see page of pentacles has like a just a little bag now he has a chest this is people's last impression of you is that you are stable i'm getting like a lot of you could be business owners or are planning on becoming a business owner or you have a business on the side you're definitely somebody who knows how to manage money very well and you bring a lot of abundance because we have the grapes and we have grapes on the page of pentacles as well so a lot of abundance a lot of stability and this is people's last impression of you boss like energy this is their impression their last impression like they know you're not just about it like you're not just talking about it you are actually about it okay you are the real deal this is what I'm getting, big daddy energy. I don't know why I'm getting that, but big daddy. So what's people's last impression of you? That you got it like that. Like you got it. It's like money and a thing for you. It's not like you're not struggling. What's people's last, last impression of you? Ooh, we have the tower unexpected surprise like i'm getting that people's last impression of you is not the same as the first impression i feel like initially people may have thought that you were a fronter or doing it for the gram or just pretending to be something that you're not because maybe it could be your age it could be your your sex it could be your um you know like they're judging you based on your skin color or your background they were judging you based off something and now they're having a powerful realization that you are actually the real deal like their first impression their last impression is not the same and this is why the tower is here it's like shocking revelation that you really are the king of pentacles you really got it like that you're not front and for the gram you're not you know doing things just to impress people you really are about that life and this is the reason why you're able to travel some of you could travel a lot maybe you travel like six times a year okay or in once a month you're always doing something you're always expanding you're always growing you're always like on to the next thing bigger things you're 10 step ahead of people and that's their last impression of you is that you know you really are about that life and that they were wrong about their first impression what's people's last impression of you yeah we have the star i'm just blocking it because of uh, the nudity on the card but we have the star influential they know that you are the star that you are that it girl or that it guy that's people's last impression of you that's why we have the tower it's an unexpected revelation that you are the star you are really who you say you are you're not pretending you're not frightened okay that's people's last impression of you what's people's last impression of you Ooh, ace of cups that you're a genuine person you see how she's so loving and she's holding the candle and she's sitting in the cup 
and the cup has those beautiful flowers so that means you're beautiful inside and out okay that's people's last impression of you like the love that you give is really it's real it's authentic you definitely are original this people's last impression of you you're definitely not a copycat what's people's last impression of you Ooh, we have the judgment you're a great judge of character I feel like these people misjudge you like I said with the tower they definitely did they're in shock with what they're actually seeing that you really are living a life of luxury what's people's last impression of you just one please what's people's last impression of you we have the three of pentacles that you're a dedicated person that you are really a perfectionist and you have an excellent like your reputation precedes you who you say you are and who people say that you are you really are behind closed doors you're not like like i said you're not fronting for the gram you really are the real deal you're very skilled and talented you look, look at this painting this is the person this is this man who made this created this painting and i'm getting like people are realizing that you are really the person that you say behind closed doors you are really as talented as you portray yourself to be is not a front what's people's last impression of you like i really get like they misjudged you like i said their first impression was not the real imp like there was not the real deal yeah four of wands you see stability good news you see how happy she is like and the father built that tree house there's like this stability that you bring people know that this is their last impression of you is that you really are living a life of your dreams and you're really living a life of abundance it's not a front what's people's last impression of you Ooh, we have the empress and we have the knight of swords so the empress that as well has a little bit of nudity so i'm just blocking it but you see how she's so beautiful look at her face she's so gorgeous okay and that's people's last impression of you that you are a gorgeous person inside and out but there's a lot of abundance beauty around you because the flowers represents beauty and we have the leaves so this is like stability like fertility i'm getting so you're fertile this is people's last impression of you sorry i'm just gonna block her with uh, the knight of swords people's last impression of you as well with the knight of sword is that you are quick on your feet you're very intelligent you're action oriented so whenever you come up with an idea or you come up with something you act on it you don't procrastinate this is people's last impression of you i feel like it's people at your job as well that may think these things about you sorry guys i have to block her because i just don't want youtube to flag me so what's people's last impression you see ten of pentacles stability okay that's people's last impression of you you really are about that money and like you're not front in what's people's last impression of you what's people's last impression of you my pal number two yeah we have seven of pentacles okay another card of stability of patience like abundance creativity giving birth you see how like when you're pregnant you have to wait the nine months you can't just expect the baby to be formed after two days right so you still have to wait you have to be patient you have to wait for your investment to grow and this is people's last impression of you is that you are somebody who is extremely patient you're you're willing to put in the work to get to the ten of pentacles okay and you're not um you depend on yourself you depend on your own um skills and talent in order to get there and you're willing to wait you're not in a rush and you don't allow other people's opinion of you uh, make you feel like you can't make it happen this is where the tower comes in these people maybe like it's people from your past that probably thought that you were never going to be stable or you're never going to be um abundant and now you show them that you really are abundant maybe they thought that you were just pretending to impress them but really you were not you really are that person okay this is their last impression of you i'm getting like it's people from your past that didn't really know you yeah we have the queen of wands their last impression of you is that you are extremely confident in yourself 
you're self-reliant and I'm also getting with the queen of wands it's like you're passionate about what you're trying to accomplish what's people's last impression of you yes we have five of wands you're ambitious this is people's last impression you're not afraid of challenges or obstacles and I feel like these people that may have misjudged you may have placed some sort of barriers and obstacles in your path and they thought that you were not going to succeed or you were going to give up and you did not with the five of wands you kept on going and you you pretty much beat the competition or the people that were secretly competing against you yeah people's last impression of you is the temperance okay wow sagittarius energy again wisdom knowledge Patience again. This is another card of patience seven of Pentacles Expansion with Sagittarius and this patience you are an extremely patient individual And this is what people's last impression of you. I really feel like they wanted you to give up on yourself on your goals on your dreams and you did not What's people's last impression of you my pal guys, I can't make it up three of Pentacles an excellent worker or somebody who's determined but you see with the three of pentacles is like an excellent reputation somebody who provides excellent service who goes above and beyond and this is people's last impression of you like you actually put in the work you are very attentive to details with the three of pentacles coming out twice and the page of pentacles with the king of pentacles guys there's a lot of pentacles here so earth element earth energy so you have that fire, you have the yeah, you have all the elements here. Because you also have the ace of cups. So all the elements, this is giving me magician energy. So you may have Gemini or Virgo in your chart. So mostly Virgo because of the earth. Okay, so what's people's last impression of you? Yeah, that you are extremely creative, that you're passionate with the ace of wands. Yeah, this is like passion, creativity, endurance, I'm getting, stamina. This is people's last impression of you, that you're not going to stop, that you are self-sufficient and you're self-reliant and you believe in yourself. You have a lot of confidence with the Queen of Wands. What's people's last impression of you, my pile number two? guys i can't make it up the strength card courageous that's when i was saying the stamina comes from so you have a lot of fire too you're driven okay this is people's last impression of you so what's people's last impression of you what's people's last impression of you my pal number two Ooh, the Empress again, Taurus, um, Libra energy. So you may have Taurus or Libra in your chart because this um, the Empress came out twice, but that's that creativity, that beautiful essence, okay? Like, I feel like a lot of you had to overcome some sort of obstacles in your life within yourself. So maybe like um, self-esteem issue, um, self-confidence issues that you had to overcome. And I feel like it's the people around you that contributed to um, you feeling that way not seeing your worth not seeing your beauty But now people's last impression of you is that now, you know your worth you are stepping into your power your empress energy Okay, some of you could be in your emperor energy as well But we have the empress here. So obviously they're divine counterparts So take it how it resonates, but you're definitely in your empress energy. You're beautiful You know who you are you're aiming for excellence and this is people's last impression of you you know your worth now you're not gonna let them like try to drag you down or make you feel like you're less than yeah we have the Sun Leo energy twice we have Sagittarius and Leo so you may have both of them in your chart but people's last impression of you is that you are definitely successful or you are on your way to becoming successful with the Sun you're definitely uh, abundant and optimistic they know that you got you got what it takes in order to be the person that you want to be or you are already this person but you are on your way there you're definitely expanding into someone 
or and you're also expanding into that person that you were meant to be that you always like they always knew you were that person it's just that they didn't think that you knew as well this is why we have the empress here twice you're stepping into your your power okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the Black Obsidian Tower. And this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back I'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous spell or previous readings okay So, my pal number three, what's people's last impression of you? What's people's last impression of you, my pal number three? We have Aries act. So you could have Aries in your chart. Or like this is also giving me um, per energy so you're definitely action oriented you're not just um, talking about it you actually make moves boss energy I got like kind of like boss energy for all three piles like stability you actually are who you say you are what's people's last impression of you What's people's last impression? Ooh, temperance, Sagittarius energy, so another fire sign. People's last impression of you is that you are an alchemist. You're able to create things out of like two different elements and bring them together to create something even more beautiful. You're, I'm really getting like uh, patience. This is people's last impression of you, that you're very calm, cool, collected. You're not the type of person that allows a situation to get the better of you what's people's last impression of you that you're definitely wise beyond your years as well with the temperance card spiritual you could be a tarot reader what's people's uh last impression of you Ooh, king of pentacles i'm telling you there's a lot of like um stability abundance like for the generally for all three piles okay it's just different energies but like the main thing that i'm getting is like stability king of pentacles reliability abundance because if you look at the king of pentacles there's like a chest full of coins and the grapes represents abundance okay and uh, obviously the coins is stability and he has a big coin in his hand and definitely he looks like a king with his crown and all his jewelries and like i'm getting like a regal energy even though this is regal is more of leo energy but i'm just getting that vibe because regal is king like energy okay but i'm getting like this is people's last impression of you that you really got it like that that you are abundant and it was on your own like you did it on your own what's people's last impression of you just one please what's people's last impression of you Ooh, two cups it's like this is a unity um, people's last impression of you is that you make a great partner or that you are very um, loving and nurturing with the two of cups you're a great catch this is people's last impression of you that you will make a great spouse because the king of pentacles represents a father or, or a parent a loving supportive parent that's people's last impression of you if you have children that their impression their last impression is that you are a great provider a great parent a loving what's people's last impression of you we have the prince the princess of wands this is giving me optimism 
passion okay because like uh, romantic because she has a letter here she has a rose in her hand and she's looking um ahead so she's optimistic and with the, the orange i'm is giving me passion okay this is people's last impression of you that you are extremely passionate what's people's last impression of you what's people's last impression wow didn't i say guys didn't i call out emperor energy with aries boss this is people's last impression of you that you are a boss that you got it like that that you are very stable that you are a great leader that you have amazing leadership skills that's people's last impression of you that you are worthy of respect and accolade my nose is itching guys so what's people's last impression of you I'm getting like grounded individual that you stand your ground because I saw the seven of wands. Yeah, you see six of wands, victorious, successful, worthy of celebrating. Okay, worthy of praise with the six of wands. You see how everybody's celebrating the woman in the card, the child, the woman, the men on the side. And there's like another woman because you could see her dress. This is people's last impression of you, that you are actually a very successful person. And it's not just money. I feel like even in your community, the people around you respect your, your honorable because the emperor is giving me honorable vibe with the king of pentacles. What's people's last impression of you? Yeah, we have the death card, okay? This is giving me powerful energy, resilience, that's people's last impression of you, that you are extremely resilient, transformative, and that you don't let anything get to you. You always come out on top. That's people's last impression of you, that you're extremely powerful. Some people are intimidated by you because I'm getting like with the Emperor and the Death Guard and Aries here, like this powerful energy. Okay, Scorpio vibe, alluring. People's last impression of you, that you are a magnetic person. What's people's last impression of you? Wow, King of Swords. You see with the book, you're book smart, you're wise. And with the King of Swords, you see his face, he doesn't look like he's gonna take your ish, like he's about that life. Come at him <laughs> sideways and he's gonna cut you. <laughs> look at his face. And look at all these books in the back, in the background, okay? definitely has that fire okay he has the smoke for you like if you want it he's ready look at him he's coming in with a sword with his knowledge he doesn't look like he's playing and people this is our last impression of you like you're definitely you know very um loving very nurturing but you're not a, you're not the one to be played with and you're definitely not going to insult the king of swords intelligent with all these books this is what i'm getting here okay people that's their last impression of you if they come towards you they better come towards you correct okay or else you're gonna cut them off or you're gonna basically let them know with the knowledge that you possess that you're not that guy or you're not that girl like come at me correct or don't come at all with the king of swords look at his face he like he doesn't look like he's playing okay he doesn't look like he's about to take your ish the king of pentacles is more like on this deck, like he looks more like he's gonna let you, you know, run games and act like he doesn't know what you're doing. The King of Swords is gonna tell you right away. He's not playing, okay? And this is people's last impression of you. Like, you're not the one to be played with. So, what's people's last impression of you? What's people's last impression of you? That you are adventurous with the King of Wands. Not the King of Wands, sorry, the um, Knight of Wands. Yeah, very charming you see how he look? he's coming in like he wants to run games on you he wants to seduce you but like i'm getting like you have a charming side to you so you know how to handle people you may have like great customer service skills with the knight of wands that's people's last impression of you that you're very good at communicating with others you have great power of persuasion with the knight of wands What's people's last impression of you? What's people's last impression of you? What's people's last impression of you? 
yeah we have the tower the tower is like unexpected change unexpected like uh movement people's last impression of you i'm getting like it's not that you are i'm getting like unpredictable energy like you're not easy to read because we have the king of pentacles and the king of swords the king of swords does not show his hands the king of pentacles neither he doesn't show his hands but the king of pentacles allows you to you know say what you got to say so that way he could observe you and see what you're trying to do next while the king of swords is taking mental notes and playing chess with you while you're playing checkers so people's last impression of you is that you're not the one to be coming like to not come play games with you to not try to run games on you because you're 10 step ahead of them they know that that you will you are unpredictable it's not easy to find out what your next move is going to be with the tower that's people's last impression of you that there's a definitely an air of mystery to you especially with the death card what's people's last impression of you i hope that made sense guys okay what's people's last impression of you yeah you see five of wands you see the five of wands this is like these um they're playing arm wrestling so we have the five of ones you're not afraid of competition you're not afraid of like um obstacles or challenges you're up for it that's people's last impression of you you're not the one like you're about to win you're in it to win it okay this is people's last impression of you you're ambitious what's people's last impression of you what's people's last impression of you Yeah, you see we have the ace of swords you're calm cool and collected you speak the truth you're honest in your dealing there's a lot of wisdom to you like you think before you speak because this man is meditating on the card and we have the two owls on top of the sword so definitely you think before you speak this is people's last impression of you you're yeah i'm really getting like you intimidate a lot of people pile number three What's people's last impression? Of, and you know what I'm getting with the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords is that whenever somebody steps to you and they try to insult your intelligence, you don't, it's not like you're going to scream or cuss them out. You just pause and the reply that you give them is so eloquently put together that they don't have nothing to say in return. It's like you like shut them down right on their tracks, okay? And they don't know what to say afterwards. That's why they don't even want to mess with you. So what's people's last impression of you? We have the chariot. That you're definitely disciplined, structured, and strong will. You know what you're doing. Yeah, the king of swords wanted to come out again. What's people's last impression of you? Didn't I say? Highly intuitive, mysterious, with the moon, cancer energy twice. So you may have cancer in your chart. But you definitely are intuitive, my pal, number three. And this is people's last impression of you. Like, they can't put anything past you. You can see right through their BS. That You can see right through their games that they're trying to run on you. And this is why we have the King of Swords. Like, don't insult my intelligence. What's people's last impression of you? What's people's last impression of you? See, the tower wanted to come out as well. But we have the moon, okay? A lot of mystery. We have all the water signs here. Um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So definitely intuitive, mysterious, alluring, okay? That's people's last impression of you. It's like they wonder, how do you do it? How do you know these things? How do you know I'm lying? How do you know I'm trying to run games on you? That's like the questions that people are asking themselves, and this is why they tread lightly with you. What's people's last impression of you? What's people's last impression of you, my pal, number three? You're practical. With the hangman, I'm getting like, um, you look at things from a different perspective and you're not quick to make a decision. You're not quick to um, 
like take the bait with the hangman that's people's last impression of you i feel like a lot of people try to insult your intelligence because of the king of pentacles i feel like when people come towards you when they talk to you you are in the king of pentacles energy where you listen you have an attentive ear you it's like it seems like you are falling for it but really you're not you're just not showing your your cards you're not showing um how you truly feel but with the king of swords this is your mind you're thinking like okay so you're trying to run game on me you think you're smarter than me i'm gonna let you know in a like um methodical way that i see right through you it's like you're not going to tell them exactly word for word oh i know you're running games on me i know you're lying to me you're going to say it in a way that is going to make this person think and then they're going to reevaluate like how they proceed with you they're going to proceed with cautious with you because they know that you're not the one with the tower you're not the one what's people's last impression of you guys i can't make it up <laughs> the tower again I'm telling you, unexpected, unpredictable. That's people's last impression of you. They don't know what your next move is going to be, how you're going to react, because I feel like a lot of you, you don't talk right away with the Ace of Swords. You pause. You have them thinking that they got you or they, they're running games on you when they're not. You have people tripping. Eight of Swords. What's people's last impression of you? What's people's last impression of you? Yeah, we have the eight of wands. You're definitely action oriented. You take move, you make moves because we have Aries act. Yeah, you're cautious. Page of pentacles. They know that after like maybe their first impression was like, oh, this person's very nice. They're they're easy to fool because they're going along with me. But really, you're just, you know, taking mental notes with the king of swords and you're extremely cautious now their last impression of you is that you're cautious you're like you're not you're not the one to quickly react and you're also unpredictable they don't know what your next move is going to be what's people's last impression of you what's people's last impression of you yeah you see six of pentacles they know that you're generous that's the issue some of them they think that they could take advantage of your kind heart because initially i feel like you show them that you're very caring very loving but you also have the king of swords side where when somebody trying to insult you you know how to put them back in their place eloquently like you're not going to do it in a aggressive manner or you're not going to be disrespectful you're just going to be truthful and honest and cutthroat okay but their last impression of you is that they know that you have a generous spirit but you're cautious about who you give your heart to or who you share your resources with okay it's not just anybody just because they come just because they come towards you doesn't mean that you're going to be opening up to them right away they have to earn your trust that's people's last impression of you they have to earn it so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three Bye.